Budgets are the backbone of any solid financial plan, and whether you're saving for a home or planning a vacation, they are a crucial tool to help you accomplish your financial goals. Today, in the second installment of our series on planning for your future, our chief financial commentator, Patty Levitt Reed, looks at how to make a budget that works for you. For Gusto 101's executive chef, Elio Zanoni, food has always been a passion. I've always loved food. When I was homesick, I'd sit at home watch uh, Yan Ken cook or the Squally. So I just kind of settled in nicely into the atmosphere. Got an A350, don't break. He's been working in kitchens for 15 years, and like most of us, money wasn't a priority back in the early days. When I was younger, I didn't, uh, it was more of a paycheck to paycheck kind of thing. Um, savings weren't really a thought. It was, uh, you know, work hard, get your paycheck, and spend quickly kind of deal. Day to day, not really thinking about any, putting anything away. But things changed when he met his wife. I guess the question came up of, how's your savings? And I kind of chuckled it off, and I asked, I said, what savings? And he hasn't looked back since. The couple started saving for big purchases. We got married, uh, bought a house, but all that stemmed from like the slow kind of quarter in a, in a piggy bank system. Ever since we've been budgeting, we've uh, definitely, we plan uh, usually a vacation to Europe every two years. It's kind of our big thing. Um, but yeah, right now most of the money's going into the house. And he has some words of wisdom for his younger colleagues. Looking back, if I could talk to myself, uh, you know, 10 years uh, before I started saving or whatnot, would be save. Um, whether it's a little bit or a lot, just put a little bit away for a rainy day and, and just kind of keep building on that and you'll be ahead of the game. What I like about Elio's story is he's so easy to relate to. For many of us, when we're younger, it's really tough to save, and sometimes we get into debt. However, as we get older, our priorities change and we want to save. That's where budgeting comes into place. It's such an important tool, and I've got some tips to share with you on how to achieve your long-term goals. My first tip is you have to own the budget. You have to own the plan. If I tell you to get excited about something, this is what you should save your money for, and it doesn't excite you, trust me, it's not going to work. It'll never work. Figure out what it is you want to save money for, and you own it, you develop your plan and your budget. The next tip is though, having it for the long term. These things don't happen overnight. You may be saving for your down payment on a home, a car, a vacation, it might even be your retirement. But when you have a plan in place and you stick to the budget and it's yours and you own it, you stand a far better chance of being successful in the long run. Tip number three is, you need to know exactly how much money you have coming in on a monthly basis. Are you getting it from a full-time job, a part-time job, it could be a tax refund, or you might even have gifted money. You have to count all of it. Because tip four, you're going to count every dime. You need to know what it is you're spending your money on. I've learned in life there are three things that don't lie. One would be your birth certificate, the other your scale, and finally your bank book. If you're spending money and you have these discretionary costs and you don't know what it is you're spending your money on, it's really hard to cut them out and you have to include them because when you decide to cut back on those discretionary expenses, that's found money that you can apply to a goal that probably means more to you. People hear the word budget and they start to cringe. Budgets can get a bad rap, but they shouldn't because I'm here to tell you budgets work. Now, if you follow just a few of our tips, you will start to take control of your financial situation. Now, you don't have to do it alone. There are professionals that can help. Or you can go on to just about any financial institution's website and their online tools that help you develop your plan. But you want to remember, data in is only going to be as good as the data you get out if you're honest with the numbers. Nice work, Ms. Patty Lovett reed So if you're looking for some tools to help you with your financial readiness, head to our website. Tomorrow, in the third installment of our series, Patty will give us her tips on effectively managing debt. This program is brought to you in part by Manulife. Are you ready? Up next on Canada AM, can anything go wrong at the happy anniversary party? Jeff found out on the internet today. I'm Patty Lovett-Reed. I know you work hard for your money. 
My goal is to help ensure that your money works hard for you. Whether you're paying down debt, saving for retirement, or even opening up your first bank account. So you get excited about your money working for you and doing all the things that you want to do in life once you get that financial foundation. Tune into Canada AM this week for a special series on preparing for your financial future.